So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Quartz model from Greats. I wanted to give you a quick unboxing slash first impressions video, plus show you some angles of uh, the shoe so you can take a look for yourself and see if it's something that you want to add to your collection. Stick around to the very end of this video so you get all those angles and crispy b-roll of this shoe. Mmm. Let's get into it. If you are new here, I am Baron, and on this channel we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress sharp, how to dress with confidence, and of course unboxing videos like this one today. So if you are into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we're talking about the newly released Court sneaker from Greats. Is it Court or Quartz? Anyway, let's open up the box and see what we have here. In case you're curious what the box looks like, it is a nice, substantial uh, gray, like a charcoal gray color, and then you have like the spot gloss of the logo right here. So opening it up, on the inside of the lid, be one of the greats. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so let me go through this box first. So. We actually have an extra pair of laces here, so if you want that contrasting look of your quartz sneaker with like, let's say you have this tan color that I chose with um, this like white, I believe it's white or off-white uh, laces, you can do that. Be a nice contrast. I actually kind of like uh, these wax laces here. They match the, the leather color. I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah, so this is the new quartz model from Greats. You can see I chose the tan Koyo color. This was actually inspired by vintage basketball shoes. So you can see some of that styling detail here. What I like about these is that, you know, you do have the nice tan leather. And by the way, the leather is really soft and supple. It feels very nice. The, the color is even here. No patina yet, obviously. I haven't worn these yet. Um, but I'm sure over time it'll develop and uh, change a little bit of color, which I personally like. I know some people really want to keep their shoes uh, like crispy, brand new, but I tend to like a little bit of wear in my shoes. So you can see here that there is suede de detailing along the toe, the toe box here, and then there's also some right here, as well as on the tongue. There is the Greats logo with a little bit of suede detail. There is uh, more suede detailing. And this banner is actually, it's very similar to their, it is their logo essentially without the, you know, the word Greats in there, but it's a very recognizable sort of banner that they use that you also saw on the box itself. But this is just like a simple stitch. You have the off-white Markham sole. And I believe this is like a gum sole uh, at the outsole at the very bottom. So I, I like that contrast. Um, I'm actually not sure. I think all of the uh, the different models have that, but I have to check. But I know this one does. I'm not really sure about the others. I believe they all have this sort of gum um, outsole. There's your traction right there. It's really nice. Now these uh, these laces are waxed, so um, there's a lot a good grip on them when you're sort of lacing yourself up, so it doesn't really slip and slide. And then also, like it just protects the laces, gives it a little bit longer lifespan. And I do like these flat laces. I think that looks really sharp. Also, let me open this up, take this out, so you can see in here at the heel and the insole. You know they have their Greats logo. Also, I want to point out that the interior of the shoe is fully lined in leather which is a really nice touch it's really luxurious and it feels super soft and i think that really is a mark of a really good sneaker is if you can you know take a full grain leather sneaker and then also not only it be the shoe but also line it on the inside um, with this same full grain caskin leather i mean that's a huge thing and it's really soft and it makes it just more comfortable to wear uh, and you can even wear this sockless it's totally fine I always wear no-show socks with these and all my sneakers, but if you're, a no sh if you're a no sock guy, then you could do that with these shoes without worrying about ruining them because the leather just really helps it bounce back. Of course, you know, I would always personally use shoe trees in these guys just like I would my dress shoes. These are full grain leather um, and having shoe trees in them after a long day of wear is always beneficial. Also, I should mention that uh, this is a size nine. Uh, these are true to size, at least in my estimation. I wear a size nine and these fit perfectly. Um, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't size up or down with these. So there you go. That is the Greats 
Courts Sneaker. So if you don't already know, Greats is a local sneaker brand here in New York City based out of Brooklyn, New York. They focus on making really classic and timeless silhouettes, which I appreciate because honestly, like these silhouettes are the type that look perfect with a lean wardrobe, which is what we always discuss here on Effortless Gen. Each shoe from Greats is made in Italy. It's constructed from very premium leather and other materials like suede. Like I mentioned, the court specifically uh, was inspired by vintage basketball sneakers. And of course they had to elevate their version just a little bit by using really supple full grain calfskin leather and suede trim and finished off with an Italian Margum rubber sole. And so what you're getting is an incredible low top shoe that fits perfectly in a smart, sharp wardrobe. And you can wear it with many different styles from casual, yes, to even a little bit formal. Sneakers with a well-tailored suit, anyone? In addition to this tan Koyo colorway, they also have a version in white with light gray suede trim, black with black suede trim and a white sole, and also a triple black colorway. Like I mentioned, these are true to size, at least in my experience, I wear a size nine and these are also a size nine and they fit really comfortably. Also, by the way, I wanna mention that the sole is a really comfortable width. I have sort of a wide foot, my feet are flat, so my foot tends to be a little bit wider than normal, but these are super comfortable. So if you have a wide foot as well, I think you will find that these are actually super comfortable and you don't have to worry about them being too tight width-wise. Overall, I've always been a fan of greats. I love supporting brands that make great products uh, with premium materials and at a fair price point. If you are thinking about snagging a pair of your own, please go ahead and click the links below. Not only is it gonna have more information for you, but when you buy through our links, you help support this channel, Effortless Gents, and there is no extra cost to you. So I really appreciate it. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you. Hit me in the comments below and let me know what you think. Also, if you like this unboxing slash first impressions type video, let me know. I'd love to do more of these. I get great products all the time uh, and it's kind of fun to open up a box and see what's in there uh, and you are kind of experiencing this uh, first impressions look with me so if you do like this definitely hit uh, that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below also don't forget to subscribe so you always get the newest uh, and best videos that come out off this channel into your subscriptions tab in YouTube Boop. anyway don't forget to subscribe I will see you guys in the next video Peace.